Hello everyone and welcome back. I've decided to make a short mini series videos in order to explain the geometrical element and how to measure them on a CMM. We will take uh, every geometrical element and try to uh, be as precise as possible to explain how to measure them. So today we are going to talk about the point. So I made a short presentation how to better explain uh, how to measure a point on a CMM. So in this slide we can see that we have to touch uh, the surface at least one time in order to get the point, to generate the point. And we have an observation. When you are working with manual probing, you will have to take in consideration the to probe perpendicular along the surface that you want to touch, in order for the software to identify the correct vector of the point. So, in this slide, I will try to explain better what I what I said earlier. So, we have two examples how not to touch the point and how to touch the point. Okay, so in this example, this is the probing direction. So you come with the stylus like this, straight. You want to touch here, in the, uh, you want to touch here on the radius of the part. And when you go like this, you have the real contact point here, right here, you have the measured point here due to the stylus compensation from the CMM because it takes from the center of the stylus uh, and uh, calculates the radius in the probing direction and you you uh, you wanted to touch here so you you've inputted an error right right here on the other side here if you go along the normal vector of the point tangent to the target point you will have the contact point and the measure point and the target point equal each other so now you've measured correctly okay since CominSpect suit is a measuring software and since it is free to download from the GOM website I've decided to install it and to explain here what I want to explain. So for this video and for the next ones probably I will use uh, this software. Okay, so we have here the model that I created in my previous video. And I will try to explain on it uh, how to take a point. So let's take a point right here on this surface because it's a flat surface we will use the surface point because it's a CAD model okay so let's take here a point okay so the software calculates the normal vector of the point automatically and we can create it now since is, this is a, a flat surface, a straight surface, mm, we don't have any inclinations on it. Anywhere we take a point, it will be exactly the same. Okay. So this is available also for a uh, inclined plane. The point will take exactly the inclination of the plane so it will be as I said in the presentation perpendicular to the tangent of the target point but what happens if we take a point on a radius so let's take it on on a sphere right here 
Well, in this case, because the software calculates automatically the values, as you see here, it calculates automatically the values of the vector of the point. See? So, we can do it wherever we want. The software will calculate automatically because we have the CAD model. Okay. If we don't have the CAD model, we can tell the software. I don't know if all the software has uh, this cap capacity, but uh, I know that a lot of them has. Uh, we touch the, the surface wherever we want to touch it and we tell the software to calculate alone the vector by using three points and ma making a triangulation or I don't know it makes a, a calculation alone so it will take the point with where you want to take it then the the software will take another point for example here another one here and another one here for example and it will calculate sorry another and another one here okay and it will calculate for this point for example for this one it will calculate the normal the normal vector from the surface by calculating the, the other three points so that's the solution guys okay if you don't have this solution please get in touch with uh, a representative from uh, from the software that you are using and uh, explain to them what you are trying to do and i'm sure they will be happy to help you okay so this is it next time we will talk about the plane uh, so stay tuned and if you like what I'm doing, please like, share and subscribe. Until next time, have a nice one.